(laughs) (laughs) You are so ridiculous. Seriously. I don't know how you managed to survive to adulthood with some of the crazy things you did to test out your powers. (sighs) Oh. Speaking of that, are you ready for me to unchain you? Well, duh. Oh, you're going to try and be a bit creepy and threatening now. (sighs) Please. Sure, I might not be able to kill you with my bare hands, but I could still scorch the hell out of you if I thought you were a threat. And, at this point, I think the most you could manage is the same kind of moderate discomfort that comes from taking a sip of orange juice after brushing your teeth in the morning. (laughs) Oh, you're such a himbo. Good lord. Let me spell it out for you, hero. You don't scare me. Talk your tough guy shit all you want. I think I've gotten enough of a measure of your metal, so there's no fear in my heart. And that's that. Mm Mm-hmm. It's really that simple. You're just a person, hero. And so am I. Sometimes I think we need to be reminded of that. Regardless of labels, we're all just people. Why was I branded a villain? Because I fundamentally opposed the actions of so-called heroes. Or is it because my powers have primarily destructive applications? Sure, I could burn a building to the ground with my fire. But I could also cook food. Bring comfort and warmth to someone who's been overwhelmed by cold. Nothing in this life is as entirely black and white as we'd like it to be. So much of life operates in shades of gray. These muscles of yours are much like my fire. They can protect, shelter, but they can also annihilate. Sometimes without even meaning to. Just like a simple fire can get out of control, I'm sure you could also cause terrible things with your physical prowess alone. And that's to say nothing of your extra powers which further enhance that strength. Mm Mm-hmm. As I said, you're free to go, hero. But before you do... You may want to see something. You haven't had access to the news or media for a few days. Why not come see how the world has fared in your absence? So... Do you see what I'm trying to show you? The world has gone on without you. And nobody's even wondering where you went. There were a few clips of the battle where I captured you that circulated for a few days. Thought that shit was going to blow my cover, but the heat seems to have died down. Pardon the pun. You... Put yourself in danger daily. 
Under the impression that your deeds bring you... what, exactly? I know heroes get paychecks just like everybody else. But what else does heroism do for you? You get some adoration from fans. Probably more than your fair share of women. And maybe men, I don't judge, throwing themselves at you. But hero, what do you get out of it? Is there an emptiness in your soul that shrinks when you feel useful? Does the adoration make you forget how lonely you are when the cameras aren't trained on you? Oh, that spark in your eyes tells me I might have struck a nerve, eh? Hmm. We really are more alike than I thought. Here, hand me the remote. Shut this shit off. How long have you been here? Four days. Four days is all it took for any mention of you to disappear from mainstream media. How important were you to them, really, if they could forget you so easily? Perhaps they just have terrible memories, like you seem to. I know you're hurting and feel hollow right now, but... Have you figured out what makes you and I different yet? It seems like I just keep uncovering similarities when I'm really trying to remind you of the one critical thing that sets us apart. I was afraid of that. Don't worry, though. It'll come to you eventually. You thought you could be sneaky and pull your fingers back without me noticing. You can touch the scars, hero. They don't cause me physical pain anymore. Sadly, there also isn't much sensation in them either. I can still move my fingers just fine through some miracle, but... Oh. You didn't mean the burn scars, did you? Those scars. I suppose I can tell you a bit of their story. Long and short of it, I had a twin sister. Identical twin sister. My, our, senior year of high school... There was an accident, and she was taken from me. Permanently. Ever since she died, I've wanted nothing more than to be with her again. I feel like half of my soul is missing. Life is empty without her. We didn't just grow in the same womb at the same time. We started off as one single egg. How could I ever feel anything other than incomplete without her? The worst thing was watching as everyone else just let her go. Let her memories fade. Stop talking about her. Cleared out her side of the bedroom when I was con at school for the day to help me get closure or some bullshit. They'll never understand because they were never part of her. Like I was. It's been over ten years and I can still remember the way her skin smelled after she'd taken a shower. She'd crawl into bed with me and curl up in my arms like we did when we were little kids. She always had a harder time falling asleep at night, so she'd take a warm shower to wind down, 
and she'd always halfway wake my cranky ass up. But she was so warm, and she smelled like vanilla frosting. And my entire life has felt hollow without her since the day you... Since the day she died. If you're going to leave, Hero, you should go. There's a bottle of vodka and a matching jug of cranberry juice that's calling my name tonight. It's almost the anniversary of her death, and I think I might finally join her this year. I meant what I said. I don't need to lie. No tricks. You're free to leave. They all do eventually. Don't choke, Hero. It's not nice. Why in the hell would you stay? I scorched you, kidnapped you, and kept you as a prisoner for days. <laughs> Please. The last damn thing I want is your fucking pity, do-gooder. Your hand feels so soft against my cheek. For some reason, I expected your skin to feel rough, coarser than mine. Your face is getting awfully fucking close to mine, hero. I hope you know what you're doing. Because there's no going back from this. If I didn't want you to touch me, you'd be ash already. Even with that nifty healing power of yours. I'm not going to stop you, but if you don't quit dragging it out, I'm going to get up and walk. Oh. <laughs> Since we're both empty inside, you've got something that can fill me up, huh? I'm surprised at you, hero. Never would have figured you for a smooth talker. You don't strike me as the type. Too wholesome, pure, uncorruptible. Oh, you're not going to catch me complaining. But put your money where your mouth is, hero. Show me you can back up that sizable claim of yours. Oh. You are certainly strong. I'll give you that. Since you're carrying me, despite you not knowing where you're going. Second door on the left. And let's try not to break the bed frame with that super strength of yours. Hmm? 